Hey everyone, it's Peter here with GoodyReader.com and today we're going to look at the Sidebook Odyssey with HD display and front light technology. This is a uh, the newest generation of e-readers coming out of Bouquin. They're a French company. Uh, they've uh, featured the uh, Sidebook line before, but now they're getting into front light technology much like the Kobo Glow, Barnes & Noble Simple Touch with Glow Light, and the Kindle Paperwhite. So you can see here, here's the box. This is just an unboxing video and we will get into a full review video in a future video. Here's the side of the box. As you can see here, Cybook was, uh, I mean, Booking was nice enough to g give us this device as a review unit. So very much thank them and we're going to crack this open and see what's inside here opens oh there we go so much like with most European e-reader companies uh, they're very geared towards international markets in terms of language supports and all that kind of thing so uh, always seeing good things for companies like Bokeen and Wexler and Ectaco and and so forth so in the box we have quick start guide very detailed. Once again, many different languages. So no matter what language you speak, um, there will more than likely be something here. And uh, if there is a language you don't speak, you can always use uh, email tech support to contact them and they can set you up with the details regarding other languages. So underneath the foam cardboard doohickey is a micro USB cable. So you have full USB on this end, utilizing uh, charging capabilities and data transfer capabilities to your PC, laptop, Mac, Slate PC, and much more. And you have the micro on this end plugging into your Cybook. So we're going to put all this stuff aside for now and just look at the e-reader itself. Very lightweight, interesting, de interesting design. It's not square. Um, it actually bulges out on each side, giving it a very unique display. You have manual page turn buttons, thank God. Always love that. And a manual home button, which is great. I don't really agree with the companies getting rid of the home button because everywhere's, everything's software driven and you kind of have to interrupt your book to display the home icon and so forth. So I really like that there's a home button. On the bottom here, we have a micro USB port, status indicator light, and we also have a uh, micro SD card. We have a power button. Like I said, page turn buttons. The back is a very nice matte plastic with a rubber kind of bezel on the back. Nice uh, grip to it, nice feel. High build quality here, definitely. Um, we're not seeing any, uh, we're not seeing any um, uh, well, basically, yeah, we're not seeing any low build quality. It's very high quality plastics they're using, uh, very, very high resolution screen. You see you have nice design features. I like how they incorporated the home buttons nice and flat. Uh, it's very nice. So let's turn this on for the first time and see what we can see. Usually uh, e-readers do have power. I don't believe we've received too many that didn't have any juice to start it up before. So, yeah, it looks like this is one with some power. Getting a closer look here for you guys. It is starting up, and mind you, first time startups are always the longest, and that goes the same for Amazon and everyone else. So we'll obviously choose English, and there you go. <laughs> this is actually one of the quickest startups. Uh, usually you're faced when you start up a, an e-reader for the first time, or even a tablet, you're faced with this long, drawn out uh, authentication uh, procedure where you have to do usernames and passwords and and Wi-Fi and accounts and all that this one just kind of booted up so uh, credit to them see your library is preloaded with some classics always good to have you can go ahead and click on any of those to open them up that's really nice it's almost as if it's fluid it doesn't refresh every step it goes that was that was pretty cool it seems that when you do page turns via swipe, you get a full page refresh every time. But if you tap, you actually don't get the page refresh. And it's very smooth. Maybe every seventh or sixth page turn, you get yeah refresh. Um, once again, this is just an unboxing, just to show you guys what's in the box to get a good idea 
what's going on here. But uh, yeah, it looks looks very nice. You get your menu pop up button here. Looks like it's a two stage. You press it once, it brings up the bar, much like a Barnes and Noble. You press it again, brings up kind of another set of menus. So uh, very nice. I like what we see here. Uh, very good build quality, very high resolution screen. We have a glow light going on here too. So actually, you know what? Before we wrap up, let's turn that on. Yeah, so it's a press and hold kind of thing. You can turn the glow light up and you can turn the glow light down. Very nice. I like the slider bar. Very responsive. Very bright. Uh, don't believe it's quite as bright as the Kobo, but uh, the Kobo was a little, I would say, although it was high quality as this, it is uh, too bright, I think. It didn't need to go that bright, but, um, you know, a good slider bar here to uh, find that find that even ground for you. So, uh, yeah, this is the Cybook Odyssey uh, HD front light. So this is uh, competing with the big boys with front light technology. So you can uh, check this item out on goodyreader.com and check out this video on youtube.com slash goodyreader. And you can also check out our review video up and coming on a future video. Check out our YouTube channel. Check out our website. You can always visit our partner, Shoppy Readers, who might be carrying this soon as well. And uh, so much more. So for Goody Reader, this is Peter. Everyone, have a great day.